everyone, what is up my friends, folk and family, it's Fiona Edgar, astrologer here. So I'm making a little short video about the astrology over the next um, couple of days. Okay, so what we have in the sky here is ugly T-square, ugly ass T-square <laughs> that is forming between Uranus Saturn and Mars, right? So a T-square is a highly stressful aspect in astrology. It's a bit of a dangerous one because first of all, we've got Mars here. Mars is the planet of warfare. It's known as the god of war. It's in Leo. It does express itself well in Leo because it's a fire sign. Mars in itself is the nature of fire. However, it's a bit headstrong. It has a bit of an ego because it's in Leo. Uh, so this Uranus here, Uranus and Taurus, first of all, it symbolizes the deconstruction, the changes that we have been under since, I guess, 2019, 2020. It is about finances. It's all about radicalism as well. Uranus is a radical planet. It can be the radical left, right, anything. Uh, it's also about our reality, our comfort zone. Everything that we knew is changing because Uranus is a planet of change. Then we've got Saturn here. Saturn is retrograde. It's in Aquarius. So this has been an important one. And these three are in conflict with each other. They're having a war. What does this mean? It can be unexpected flares of violence. It can be terrorist attacks. It can be false flag attacks. Anything that falls under those. It can also be the government being heavy handed here. We've got Saturn in Aquarius. It's also about really unexpected events that we probably didn't see coming. It's not a pleasant formation. It's not a, a safe formation. It's not easy. So first of all, on a personal level, it's about conflict. There's conflict forming. This isn't going to be over really until July 7th, which also is the day that we leave the Mercury shadow period. You're going to have issues with people, right? That's on a personal level. My advice to you would be, Try not to make any sudden decisions. Everyone's egos are flaring with this. Everyone wants to be the boss. Everyone thinks they know the best. And it's going to cause issues. Go and try and do some things that if you are involved in conflict, just try and avoid it. Stay out of it. Um, go and do some nice things. Right? So this is until July 7th. I know that's like a little bit away. Please don't go to any protests. Okay? Don't go to any public gatherings. Now, I'm not trying to be scary here. You know that I don't like that, but I also do not candy coat things. I speak the truth. When we had that, um, the events in January, I forget the day it was, but it's whenever over in the States that they had those people that stormed um, Capitol Hill, right? So I did warn people prior to that not to go. Uh, reason being was because everything was Uranian, Aquarian, it was unstable, it felt like a trap. And ultimately then in the end it was. So this is why I'm kind of telling you to be cautious. I'm not saying that any of these things are definitely going to happen. Astrology is not fortune telling. It tells the story of how people are feeling, right? This is all what we are feeling and we will be feeling over the next week or so. It does increase the likelihood of violence and false flags, terrorist attacks, shooters, that kind of thing. So on July 2nd, which is a pretty critical day because the moon is going to be in the sign of Aries. 
Aries, of course, is ruled by Mars, which is taking part in this dance of violence between these planets. It's also making a conjunction to Chiron on that day, making things even more volatile and wounding. So July 2nd, don't go, don't go to any protests, please, because they may backfire. It may be a trap. Stuff may be happening. Uh, we could be dealing with, especially over in the States, those kind of um, shooter, random, violent, unexpected events. Forewarned is forearmed. So please take that into consideration over the next week. So on a deeper level, we are transforming. We are kind of channeling the archetype of, of Uranus, the chaos magician, the rebel. And we have a lot of opposition here. In your personal life, try and walk away from anything without being a pushover, of course, uh, without getting involved in a, a load of crap because this is too dangerous. This is going to set off stuff. It's going to be blown out of proportion. So that's kind of my advice to you about the next week. Again, not being alarmist, but listen, guys, we're living in some crazy times. And shit's getting real. And I don't like this formation, so please all be safe. I'm not saying lock yourself at home shivering with fear. I'm not saying that at all. You shouldn't fear anything. But be um, take precautions is all that I'm saying. Right? So it also increases the likelihood of accidents. Be careful when you're driving. Don't wear those six-inch stilettos when you have a couple of flights of stairs to walk down, etc. Just stuff like that. This is the control. The Saturn and Aquarius here is really the control system. And the limitations that we all now have in our freedoms. So what is going to come of that over the next several days? Is there going to be any more restrictions in place? I don't know. Like I say... Astrology isn't a crystal ball, it just describes the general vibe and stuff that is quite likely to happen. But um, yeah, I think that's all that I have to say about that. Remember, you'll be feeling it now. It's June 29th. You will be feeling that starting to form, but it's going to be, you're going to feel it the most on July 2nd. And probably July 1st as well. Okay? All right. That's it. Uh, I hope you're all doing well. If you want a private reading, go to FionaEdgar.com. I also am a teacher of astrology. I'm, I'm now booking students for next year as I'm fully booked up for this year. So have a good day. Enjoy yourselves. Remember what I said. Um, and I'll be back again soon.